Hey, 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 welcome back, Slackers. This is video lesson 20. Um, we are still doing binomial theorem. I know some of you said you had a hard time with the homework. You texted me. So I want to tell you to hang in there. It's going to be okay. Um, I already said to some of you on text that we're going over... I think your flower's outside. Hold on. Jim, she's asking about her pacifier. Is it out there? Yes, she did. I gave it to her while she was riding in the car. All right, I guess I'll come out and look for it when I'm done. Um, so we'll get you one. You are full. This kid has a hair full of sand. So let me explain. It is Sunday at the Sakaro crib. Back up, please. Back up, please. Get your foot out of there. Um, and yeah, it is madness right now. Um, our Basically, this entire family hasn't slept in seven days. We put the girls in the same bedroom, and Ophelia is cutting two teeth, her two top molars. And it's a whole change with sleeping together. So it's been very interesting. Anyway, um, so you'll hear my extremely grumpy husband come in in about five seconds. Who, hey, get your face out of there. You are not a dog. You can't drink out of a water bowl. Oh, my God. Help me. Um, Ophelia, go watch Belle. Go watch the princess. Go. Go see his fireworks. No. OMG. Mommy. I don't know what he's doing. Lord only knows. Um, so anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. So some of you text me, you're having trouble with this. And I said, I would go over the homework problems. So we're going to start out going over the homework problems. We'll see how long the video is. If it's already at that point, uh, maybe I'll do one or two more and then I'll assign you more homework. Okay. From this worksheet. So I'm looking at this worksheet, which was with video lesson 19. Okay. All right, so the homework is 1, 2, 9, 10, and 15, and 16. So let's look at number one. Number one says the coefficient of x squared in this expansion. So 2 plus x to the fifth. So in order to figure out the coefficient, which is just the number in front of x squared, I have to actually expand this mofo. So you need your first term and your second term. Remember, it's all about the exponents, baby, meaning you start with the first term and it stays with the exponents. So it's two to the fifth, and you count down, leave room. Two to the fourth, two to the third, two squared, two to the first, and you stop at zero. First term goes with the exponent, and you count down to zero. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Then you pick up where you left off at the end here. And the last term, which is just x, is now to the fifth and count down in the opposite direction. So five, four, three, two, one, zero. Get off the dog. Thank you. Now I gotta simplify this. So two to the fifth I believe is 32. I believe. I believe, I believe. Two squared is four, two cubed is eight. Two to the fourth is 16, 16, 16 is 32. Yep, this is 32. Okay, so this is 32 and anything raised to the zero power, give to mommy. I want to What are you gonna draw on? I want to draw on paper. All right, hold on a minute. Let me give my daughter a piece of paper. This is my husband's way of helping me, by the way, while I work. He went outside and left the kids inside with me. In the last video I was recording, Olivia fell, came in crying to me that she was bleeding and needed help, and then Ophelia shut off the video while I was recording. <laughs> and he was sitting in the next room. But anyway, so here we are. Sorry, complaining. All right, anything raised to the zero power, we went over this in the last lesson, is actually one. Two to the fourth is 16. X to the first is just X. Two cubed is eight because it's two times two times two. X squared. Two squared is four. And then we have X cubed. And then two to the first is two. 
x to the fourth, and anything raised to the zero power is just one x to the fifth. So now I gotta clean it up one more step. 32 times one is 32, plus 16x, plus 8x squared, plus 4x cubed, plus 2x to the fourth, plus one times x to the fifth is just x to the fifth. So the question says, who's the coefficient of the x squared? So I go to x squared, which is right there, make sure you keep the sign, and the coefficient is just eight. Okay, it's just eight. All right, let's try number two. The coefficient of x squared. In x plus two to the fifth, okay? So they want the coefficient of x squared again. So in order to do that, I gotta do the whole goddamn thing out, okay? So first term gets the exponent. And then we count down to zero. So x to the fifth x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x to the first, and x to the zero. First term goes with the exponent and you count down to zero. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Your second term, you pick up where you left off all the way here at the end. You start to the fifth power and you count down in the opposite direction. Two to the fifth, two to the fourth, two to the cubed, two squared, two to the first, two to the zero. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now we're gonna simplify. Remember the question asked about your x squared. So we have x to the fifth, anything raised to the zero is just one. Two to the first is two, you always put your numbers out in front, x to the fourth. Two squared is four, x cubed. Two cubed is eight, x squared. Two to the fourth is 16, x to the fourth, first. And x to the zero is just one times 32, because two to the fifth is 32. So one more step, anything times one is itself. You didn't find the other one outside? Yay. Good job. And 32 times one is 32. So who's the coefficient of x squared? Again, it's an eight. Okay. All right, so that's one and two. Let's take a look at nine and 10. Nine says, what's the second term in an expansion? So my expansion is y minus two x to the fourth. It's all about the exponents, baby. So you ready? First term goes with the exponent. Y to the fourth, and we count down to zero. Y cubed, Y squared, Y to the first, Y to the zero. The second term, which in this case is negative two X. So it's negative two X. We're gonna put the whole goddamn thing in parentheses. I'm sorry, you just pick up where you left off at the end. Negative two X to the fourth and count down in the opposite direction. So four, three, two, one, zero. You remember, because it's more than one thing and it has a negative, I'm putting parentheses around it. So again, first term starts with the exponent. Y to the fourth, three, two, one, zero. Pick up where you left off, negative two X in parentheses. Four, three, two, one, zero. Now we're gonna clean this up. We have y to the fourth and anything raised to the zero is just one. Negative two x to the first is negative two to the first, which is negative two. I'm gonna bring this y cube down. And x to the first is just x. Bring the y squared down. Negative two squared is four. You can put it in the calculator. And then I have an x squared. Y to the first I bring down. Negative two cubed is negative eight. 
x cubed, because remember you have to cube both of them, negative two cubed, x cubed. Anything raised to the zero is one. Negative two to the fourth is 16. And then x to the fourth. They both get raised to the fourth power. Negative two to the fourth, x to the fourth. So last step, we have one times y to the fourth is y to the fourth, and we put the numbers out in front. Minus two xy cubed plus 4x squared y squared. Put the 4x squared out in front of the y squared because it also goes in alphabetical order. Uh, this is minus, I'm sorry, 8x cubed y. And this is anything times 1 is itself, so 16x to the fourth. So they ask for the second term. Every time you see a sign, it's new term. First term, second term, and keep the sign with it. So it's negative 2xy cubed negative 2x y cubed. Okay. All right, let's try number 10. So number 10 says the fourth term in the expansion 4y plus x to the fourth. Okay, so we start with the first term to the fourth power. So, 4y, because it's more than one thing, I keep it in parentheses, to the fourth. 4y cubed. 4y squared. 4y to the first. 4y to the zero. So start with the four and count down to zero. Four, three, two, one, zero. And then we pick up where we left off with the second term x to the fourth, we count down to zero in the opposite direction. So x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x to the first, x to the zero. Now we're gonna simplify, four to the fourth. Jimmy, on the calculator, can you do four to the fourth power for me, please? I think it's 256. My daughter stole the calculator from me. Four squared, 16. 16 times four is 64, and four to the fourth is 64 times four. Yeah, it's 256. It's got to be 256, Jimmy. How do you do it? Four to the fourth. Just do four times four times four times four. That's a good idea. <laughs> He's trying to figure out how to do it on his cell phone calculator. 256. Thank you. Two, 256, y to the fourth. Because remember, they're both raised to the fourth power. So it's four to the fourth, y to the fourth. Anything raised to the zero is just one. Four cubed is 32. Yeah y cubed, x to the first. 4y squared is 4 squared is 16, y squared, x squared. 4y to the first is just 4 to the first, y to the first, x cubed. Anything raised to the zero is just one, x to the fourth. Now I'm gonna clean it up and just put everything with the x's in front of the y's because they want it in alphabetical order. So 256 y to the fourth, because anything times one is itself. Over here, instead of 32 y cubed x, I'm gonna write 32 x y cubed. You usually put the x in front because it's alphabetical order. Instead of 16 y squared x squared, you would write 16 x squared y squared. Now, honestly, if you guys left your answer this way, I wouldn't mark you off. And then four x cubed y's, and one times anything is itself. So it asked for the fourth term in the expansion, which is one, two, three, four, and you keep the sign with it. So it's four X cubed Y. Okay, four X cubed Y. All right, let's do the next one, 15. Number 15, I want you to expand completely. Two N plus one to the fifth. So remember, first term starts with the exponents. All about the exponents, baby. So it's 2n, because it's more than one thing, we keep it in parentheses, to the fifth. Leave room. 
Count down to zero. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Then we pick up where we left off on this side with the second term. One to the fifth. Count down to zero in the opposite direction. One to the fourth, one cubed, one squared, one to the first, one to the zero. Okay, now we're gonna simplify it. Two to the fifth is 32. Two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16, times two, yep, 32. N to the fifth, anything raised to the zero is just one. 2 to the 4th is 16, n to the 4th, 1 to the 1 is just 1. 2 cubed is 8, n cubes, 1 squared is just 1. 2 squared is 4, n squared, 1 cubed is just 1, because it's 1 times 1 times 1. 2 to the 1st is just 2, n to the 1st is just n. 1 to the 4th is 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which is just 1. Anything raised to the zero is one, and one to the fifth is just one. So let's clean it up. We have anything times one is itself, so it's 32 n to the fifth, 16 n to the fourth, eight n cubed, four n squared, two n, and one times one is just one. Okay, and last but not least, number 16. Expand it completely, so we gotta just show all the work, which is basically what we're doing all along. So x plus y to the fourth, first term goes with the exponent, so it's x to the fourth, and count down to zero. x cubed, squared, first, zero. Pick up where you left off with the second term, and count down the opposite direction. Four, three, two, one, zero. So this is very simple simplifying. X to the fourth, bring down for the ride, anything raised to the zero is just one. X cubed, y to the first is just y. X squared, y squared. X to the first is just x, y cubed. Anything raised to the zero is just one. So anything times one is itself. So we have x to the fourth plus x cubed y plus x squared y squared plus x y cubed plus y to the fourth. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully after doing these six problems, you feel a little bit better. So I'm going to give you homework now. Okay, so your homework... for video lesson 20 is going to be this worksheet and you're going to do the next set of two. So I would like you to do 3, 4, 11, 12, 17, 18. So let's do numbers. 3, 4, 11, 12, and 17, 18. So 3, 4, 11, 12, 17, 18. Okay, my darlings? Give them a try. We'll go over it again in the next video on video lesson 21. Please be well. Stay safe. Take care. Brush your goddamn hair.